Good morning. Still waking up, so lights will be off. Second cup of coffee. Blankets are on. Okay, so uh, this may or may not be a super short stream because I think this game is like 45 minutes apparently. It's an ar it was originally an arcade game. Uh, I, I feel like I've heard of this game before, Clockwork Aquari Aquario. Aquario. I can't even talk this morning. Um, I believe it's developed by West One, which isn't around anymore from my understanding. Um, I, this game seems super familiar to me. I never played it before. I was scrolling through Twitter like towards the end of last year. Uh, and then someone, someone tweeted about this game and was like, blah, 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 Klonoa. And I saw that and I'm like, okay, I have to play it now. <laughs> if this has any resemblance to Klonoa or it feels like some sort of precursor, um, I don't think there's any developer legacy or, or kind of connection between the two games or the series. Uh, but apparently it's like an arcade, like a Japanese arcade action platformer. I don't know. Um, but it looked cool. I almost... Impulse bought the collector's edition. I think you can still get it. Uh, I believe it's a UK-based online store. Strictly limited games. They're doing the physical print run of their game, or they they were doing it towards the end of last year, uh, from my understanding. But um, Uh, yeah, so I wanted to check it out. I bought it at the beginning of the new year, and I've been holding off to play it. I was going to stream it regardless because it's a short game. Uh, one of my other goals for the year is to complete 52 games during a single calendar year. I met my goal over the. I've met my goal for the past few years, uh, and I met my goal last year. Uh, so I've only beaten one game so far, but we're we literally just wrapped up the first week of January. So, um. Hopefully this will be a nice short clear. We'll check out the trophies, see how hard it is to 100%. Maybe it's crazy, maybe it's not. So I'm going. I'm I'm planning to stream just as long as it takes me to finish this because it's a single sitting game, from my understanding. All right, so let's jump in. West One's hidden arcade treasure is back. Wait, what did I just do? Did I select the right country? Oh, okay. <laughs> Split America and... Okay. Limited to five credits. Okay, let's just do normal. I don't know anything about this game. I don't want to mess with set. You can't even mess with settings yet, unless it's, that's what you do in arcade mode. It seems like. All right, let's just do. <laughs> Let's do normal mode. Oh, there are options. Uh, I'm going to keep everything default. I don't know anything about this. Full screen preview. You have to hold that the whole time? Weird. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so I like already, I'm really weird about arcade games, like classic retro credits-based games or single-sitting games. Um, 
you know, if you're playing in an, if you were an, actually in an arcade and you were playing legit, what is that? Is there no sound? Is there not supposed to be sound during this? Unless this is, this is just the attract video, maybe it's supposed to be quiet. But so I typically, uh, for arcade games, like to play with like default credits. Uh, I don't, if they're safe states, I try to avoid them. I have no problems with them or why people would use them. This looks cool though. Um, but I typically like to play with like whatever limitations or restrictions that like the developer intended from the start. So. I'm gonna just start with this normal mode, see how it goes. So there's the music. Oh, the game might be a little loud. So, besides being a 2D platformer, I'm trying to compare this to Klonoa, like, immediately. <laughs> I don't know why, because I'm just basing it off of some random person on Twitter that mentioned it. But, you attack an enemy and you walk into it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's very Klonoa. So, Klonoa has a ring. And, oh shit. And when you attack enemies in Klonoa with the ring... Oh, what the fuck? Um, you can pick them up and, like, toss them, so it's the same thing here. So, that's, like, the kind of comparison, I guess. But that feels good. Hey, Yuki!
<laughs> Thanks, Yuki. <laughs> Thanks for the reset. Wait, how do I... What am I doing with this stuff? I don't understand what my health bar is, either. And what is this one-up? Fuck, that was my first credit. drink this? I, I swore I was like drinking those little power-ups before. Okay, I got a one-up. been okay so far yeah like we're one one week down <laughs> uh i'm about to enter my crazy like work season but in a, in a week or so so work's been a little quiet um and i've just been since i was traveling before uh i was traveling over the holidays i've been kind of like self-quarantining somewhat only going out for food or if I have to kind of uh because I don't know if I caught anything while traveling and there, it's impossible to get a COVID test right now for the most part um or it seems difficult but I haven't had any symptoms either so I don't know what the fuck to think yeah so I actually just updated my schedule on Twitch. Not that I have one, but in the schedule section on my about page, I wrote like, so January 17th through early April-ish, uh, I'm in my busy season. It's like my 10th, has to be at this point, like my 10th season at my company. Um, so it's six day work weeks, minimal like 60 hours. So even though I don't stream consistently to begin with, I'll be streaming even less in about a few weeks. So we'll see how that how that goes. Um, but whatever, it is what it is. Depending on like how tired my mood, what I'm playing, um, weekday streams likely won't happen. And if anything, it'll just be Saturday evenings or sometimes on Sundays, depending on like where I'm at. So that's for January through April. I just, I don't have the mental capacity for like anything. Not that this, not, not that how I stream takes a lot of effort, but. What, you can't fall downward through? Got this like Super Saiyan metal or gold Sonic power up. I have no idea what these trophies mean, but I'm not gonna question it. these bosses a lot. Uh... 
I have no idea what's going on. I don't understand, like, the hit detection sometimes in this game. Comrade, how are you? All right, what can I do with this? I don't understand. You just toss it? This feels like a Rise Star level. That feels good. When you line up your attacks, when you throw enemies into. Oh, see, I picked that one up. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how half the stuff works in this game. But it is like an old arcade game, so. Who the fuck knows? my last life for my second continue. Oh, I got the Metal Sonic or the Gold Sonic or whatever. Oh my god. What is this enemy placement? That's my second continue. The normal mode gives you five continues. I've used two so far. But I think there's five levels. This game's really short. Again, it's an arcade game. Cool mini bosses. This is what LSD is like. Well, it is. I don't know if this is a. This had to have been a 90s era Japanese game, so. Damn it. I do like how you, like, could fly around as, uh. When you die, you, like. Oh shit, here's, like, the power up. Now I can just go fucking wild on things. Where are these, tro are these trophies I'm getting? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Third boss. Oh, I get it. Yo, you can get some free hits. I'm um, being really too aggressive. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, fourth level, I'm on the end of my second credit. So two more levels, apparently. Oh my God. A third continue.
It's got the classic, like, consecutive bounces on enemies give you more points kind of deal. Damn it. Oh my god. What am I doing? I gotta remember just to, like... There's some nuances to learn here. How any of these? What the fuck? All right, I'm at the boss already. This is gonna be like really cutting it close. Just <laughs> yeah, well, it's an it it's an old arcade game. All right, I think this is the last level. Apparently, let me pause it. Um. So it was designed to be, like, difficult, obviously. Because if it was in the arcade, you were just pumping quarters in. So it was, like, purposely cheap. But your character sprites large. Enemies are large. The playable space on the screen is, like, pretty tight. But this is my first attempt playthrough. So actually, I'd be surprised if I could finish this. So let's see how I do. Oh my god. Oh, you can duck and throw. Okay, I wasn't sure if you could do that. See, I kind of wish I bought the physical if it came with like a manual. I don't know what anything does. I don't know what these gems are. I don't understand that one-up thing.
Oh, my God, you touch things and you're like screwed. I don't, I don't even understand how my health works. There's like a million trophies in this game, which I'm all about. Alright, final boss, I think. Holy shit. When you resurrect, no, oh my god, no, is that it? Oh, my last continue, I think. No, that was all my continues that got to the final boss. Shit, <laughs> hold on, I didn't put my name in right. <laughs> Damn it, I think that was it. I think that was the final boss, and I didn't make it. All right, so I have a better idea. God damn. Series of mysterious incidents occur in various places. It must be them. Dr. Engio and his crew are plotting to take over the world. So here were three people, or here were three people trying to destroy their ambitions. The strange world of Aquario spreads out at the bottom of the sea. Now, the battle is about to begin. Okay. Fuck <clears throat> Londo. I didn't even look at the name. All right, so I guess I have a better idea of how to play this.
That's very shooter-esque, how those enemies are lined up. Oh, come on, I ducked. Oh my god, that, his swipe is so... Now, here's the thing. Hold on. <laughs> so, when you die and you come back as this, like, little angel character, you can kind of freely fly around the screen and drop in where wherever you want to. Now, every boss seems to take, like, bouncing head damage. So, it may be a good idea or not, but one of my strats... I just seem to have picked up on, which is to spawn like over the boss and just spam your attacks. So, like that kind of. Yeah, see? <laughs> In like serious mode. Like I feel like I finally understand this game. God, you just can't even graze anything. The only thing I don't like is how, um, his, his primary attack is so, oh my god, it's so terrible. That's a shit show, that hill you have to climb there. was right there. Damn it.
I swear to God, the hit detection. That was my first continue, I think, on this playthrough. You can't even graze the side of an enemy. You gotta be right on top of it. Oh, I finally understand the health. Is you take damage and his like character sprite changes. He looks like beat up. And I guess if you're at full health, that's when you can drink it. Maybe it works differently. I don't know. I'm starting to understand certain things a little better. Okay, so gems work towards giving you a one up. That seems obvious. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> just take take one hit and then just go in for the kill. Headbutt him? That's a waste of points or whatever. Damn it. Fuck there. God damn it.
Give the trophy machine. Fucking get in the face. <laughs> I'll definitely finish it on this row. I just, I don't like the. Oh shit. Point farm like this? Why would I stop doing this? I just, the fuck is happening? Oh my god. I am shifting to the right a little bit. Gemini. Oh shit, I didn't even think of that. Good, good call. <laughs> I think this is the final boss. I didn't realize how easy some of the bosses are if you just get in front of their face and attack them. Oh fuck, second form? Oh shit.
This final boss is eating your quarters. But I have a better idea now. I'm not landing on him correctly all the time. That better be it. Man, if you have to one credit this game... Thus the world of Aquario <laughs> disappeared into the ocean. Dr. Hangyo's ambitions were shattered. <laughs> sunset, classic sunset credits. This game's fucking awesome, by the way. I really liked it. It's game number two of 2022. So that was the normal run. They give you five credits and you can't change any of it, which I think is cool. I was saying this at the beginning of the stream, but for classic arcade, like retro games, especially if they're like one sitting run based, I prefer to like work within whatever like the restrictions are of like the, the default credits or continues that you can use. I don't want to save state to get through it. I don't want to like spam extra continues that aren't earned, I guess. So I'm actually really happy that they, they gave you like a set amount to get through the game. So it feels like good when I finished it. Or at least I feel accomplished. Like I, I finished it under some sort of normal constraint or whatever. Um. All right, so how do you get back to... Oh, let's go back to... So that was normal mode. Let's look at the trophies then. What does this game ask you to do? I'm already... I'm only missing six trophies now. If there's a one credit run in here, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pop, oh, okay, pop 90 balloons in level 2, 70 in level 3, pop 12 super balloons during one game. Oh, those are the, um, oh, that's it? Those are all the trophies? So complete the game as every character, and then pop a certain amount of balloons in every level, but then 12 super balloons during one game, which means one playthrough, are those, like, bigger balloons that are kind of highlighted or they're 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 flashing and they take like three hits so those are kind of hard to hit sometimes or hard to find 90 balloons in level two i definitely want the platinum in this and i feel like so i finished on normal there's hard mode limited to three credits The bonus stage minigame unlocks after level 3 has been completed once in any difficulty. This minigame usually only appears in the two-player mode between stage 3 and 4. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I guess I unlocked that, but I would need a second player. Um, arcade mode unlocks after the game is beaten once in any difficulty. It allows you to check and modify various arcade board settings the game offers. Okay, so that's like the true original mode. Like that the game, the, the remake was based off of. Yeah, it definitely has like, it's just a game from that era, Gemini. Like, I see a little Gunstar Heroes as well. Um, so someone, I, someone completely random on Twitter 
mentioned Klonoa is when I first saw this game. I feel like I've, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, like, I feel like I've heard of this before. I definitely never played this as a kid. I don't know if this was like the first time. This was the release last year. I don't know when it exactly released. I feel like it was towards the end or the second half of the year. Um, and there was a physical print run that's only in the UK. Uh, and you can import it if you wanted to, but it's digitally like elsewhere, pretty much anywhere. Um, but I never played this back in the day. So I really wanted to, and I love games like this anyway, so uh, this was a cool little surprise. I really liked it. Um, I think it depends, Yuki. I don't know if I would make like a general... So, um... I'll answer that in a second, but, um, I wouldn't say any of it's consistent, Yuki, between PlayStation trophies and Xbox achievements. I really think it comes down to, I don't know who decides it. I would imagine the developer is the one who's making these decisions as far as like what trophies to add, uh, or achievements and even steam achievements. Like what, what's wild to me, steam achievements are usually more comprehensive than, like xbox achievements or playstation trophies like there's some games that release on steam that have like more trophies than or more achievements than like their console counterparts which i think is weird so i don't know what it comes down to or who's making those decisions like on a game by game basis it has to be the developers but um Yeah, this is an arcade port. So it's like a console port of an arcade game. I think this was only in arcades. I really don't know if this was ever, ever on a console like back in the day. Um, but whatever port this is technically came out last year. Um, and yeah, I've played a bunch of Wonder Boy games. That's a really good series too, Gemini. Uh, and I think Adventure Island is loosely connected. It Honestly, there's between Wonder Boy, uh, Adventure Island... And a few other games, uh, Monster World, like all of those are kind of like weirdly connected. Their history is super complicated and like there's Google images and like charts and, and graphs that kind of like show how all of the games are connected and like whatever the, the legacy is behind the developers, like who made what. I couldn't tell you like off the top of my head. It's, it's like I'm not super familiar with a lot some of these old series. Uh, like, I missed them when growing up, so, like, I only know a little bit about... Like, I know more about Wonder Boy than, like, anything else. Um, hey, Quasi. It's exactly like that. I'm, I'm trying to think of what series... Like, Falcom's games are the same way. Like, look up the Ease series, if you're familiar with the Ease games. Like, Legend of Heroes and Ease... Uh, and all the games Falcom worked on, like there's there's like images of just like arrows pointing in like a million different directions. Like this game is like a successor to this, but it's a sequel to that, and blah blah blah. It's, it's like completely out of control. Oh, cool! They have like little. This was created about 20 years after the famous album cover by the Beatles. Ghost Hunter was going to be the title? What the fuck? So I guess this was a 1991 game. I was... Six years old? So I guess this was announced, yeah, it says TGS 2020. So this was announced like two years ago.
like people only do things because they get paid. Hey, thanks, yeah. Silent Snake. Hey, Jeremy. <laughs> How are you? Happy Saturday. Oh, cool. What is this? Uh, I'll read this because I like I like messages like this. Dear player. When I first started working on this game, nobody knew how much of it would even be possible to get it running again. I was determined that if it were possible, I was going to make it happen. What followed was a long, lab laborious task of hand deciphering binary files produced by many different long last, long lost applications. This is like written very like somewhat cursive, but not, so it's hard to read. Writing many new tools to deal with them and piecing back together what still remained of the game. I didn't know I didn't know this had such a weird, like, troubled history. Unfortunately, it soon became clear that there were indeed missing parts, mainly graphics, and in particular, <coughs> excuse me, all files relating to the sound were completely absent. Fortunately, the sound had been recorded for a soundtrack release long ago, so I was able to utilize those recordings in the game. The missing graphics were eventually recreated in the original style. Watching the game slowly come back to life was an incredible and rewarding experience. The feeling that I was looking at something only a handful of people had ever seen is something that's hard to explain. I am therefore delighted that the whole world now gets to see this previously lost, long, long lost gem. Steve Snake. You have saved this world from the clutches of the dreaded Dr. Hangyo in honor of your strong will against all odds and your amazing technique. We, the developers, award you the title Aquario Master. Congratulations. We wish you a lot of luck. That's cute. Maybe you unlock that when I finish the game. So wait, I guess this game was canceled before. That's one of my one I'm gathering. I didn't do a whole lot of research on this, like going into it. Um, what was that one image that said? Yeah, it says an arcade flyer was already in planning, yet the game was canceled shortly after. So I guess the flyer is kind of like, it looks like the buttons with the instructions of like what button in, on the arcade does what. Yeah, good to see you too, Silent Snake. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I love letters like that. Now it makes me want to get the so this was digitally twenty bucks, which to me is a little steep for like a digital copy. Um But the collector's editions are like a hundred-ish. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna really, really like this. And I felt so compelled to just like impulse buy the collector's edition because I I begrudgingly, stubbornly like to buy collector's items and uh especially for games that I definitely really, really like. Uh, and I'm still a physical collector, even though I should probably slow down a little bit. Um, so now, after playing this through this once, and kind of reading, especially reading these letters, uh, I <laughs> kind of want a physical copy. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know that Silent Snake. It's fucking awesome, though. Like, this is a shame this was canceled. Or if that's, if that's what my understanding of the history is. That, and that letter made it sound like they had to piece it together to even get it to this point. Cool. You can listen to the whole soundtrack? Fuck. Woo, that's loud. <clears throat> oh, source programming. Cool. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to try hard mode just to see how long I last, <laughs> and then I'll probably stop. 
So I'm gonna give one run of hard mode since I finished it on normal. Let's see how hard. Let's see if the game's any different on hard, and let's see how long I last. I don't know if I'll get through the uh, the whole thing. Let's play with a different character. Ellie Moon, Gush, and Huck Blonde. Let's try the girl out. Not so bad so far. I wanted to get... Alright, let's just spam kill it. Alright. <laughs> it's such a cheap trick, but I'm all about it. Get better at this. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Get it. 
Oh, come on. That was... That sucked. This, this hill climb is miserable. Hold on. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Need that star. Alright, cool. Not doing too bad for hard mode. No credits used yet. Third level. I really like this game. So I guess I got the trophy there. I'm just gonna spam kill it. Fuck it. <laughs> Not doing too bad. I'd be really surprised if I finished this on hard on my first go.
missed oh, I'm missing like everything. This is a bad run of this level. gonna be the bane of a uh, trophy you have to get this is brutal that's tough I started playing very dangerously there. Feed may have gotten slowed down or choppy there. Looks like it like froze for a little bit. I'm playing. I'm not playing like well at all now. <laughs> my last continue.
All right, final boss, hard mode, last credit, two lives. Uh, I don't remember the characters' names. It was... Fuck. Uh, something Londo? Gush was the robot? I don't remember the girl's name, and I just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I have one life to do this? One or two lives? To beat this boss, and then it's over. First temp hard mode, getting to the final boss isn't too bad, though. Ooh, wish me luck. This is horrible. Oh, I can't even hit the fucking... There we go. One <laughs> last life, last hit point, first time hard mode. Holy shit. some clutch moment shit. It felt really good. I got so in the zone with- I finally understood that boss's patterns. That was wild. Hey Jason, um, this is Clockwork Aquario. It's like an old school arcade game ported to consoles. Just like a 2D action platformer, it's really good. It, well, it's really short. It's it's like an since it's like an it was meant to be like an arcade game originally. It's it's like forty five minutes to a half hour, if that. That's how long it is. It, 
I didn't even notice in the background, it just says happy, happy. Okay, so that was hard, hard mode. Two clears, one, one stream. Not too bad. Shame there wasn't like a trophy or an unlock for finishing on hard. So the only thing I could like technically do, well, I still need a few more trophies to get the platinum. Uh, I have to beat it with the robot. And then, I don't know, I can't get 90 balloons in level two. That's really hard for some reason. Uh, and then pop 12 super balloons during one game. Uh, which that's that submarine levels really throw me off. Um, so I'll try it again. So I just need to pop pretty much every balloon, it seems like, in level two. Try to get if I got those submarine level, that fourth level's where like the, the bigger super balloons fly by like from right to left and like you just got to be on top of it or you're screwed. Um, and then complete the game as the robot next, I'd, I'd be done. So I'll just do that on normal, I guess. I'll try a normal run. Um, cool, cool game. Very short, obviously, because it was an arcade, originally arcade game. We're supposed to be an arcade game, but really, really good. All right, um, I was originally just going to plan to stream. A playthrough of this or two, I wanted to see like how crazy the trophies were going to be as well. Um, so I kind of did what I wanted to, to do this morning. I actually, <clears throat> I might take a short break, leave the stream on, just walk away for a second, come back. Uh, and I'm going to, I might read through. So I've been promising, I promised myself or kind of told myself I would stream my quarterly writing posts. And I did one, I did my second quarter last night. Um, it was, I was only on for an hour, so it was, it was very short. Um, I still needed to, to read through my Q3 and Q4. I might do that now just to kind of knock it out since I'm on. If you want to stick around and, and listen, it'll be like a chill, just me reading through the games I played during the third quarter of the year. Um, so I'm going to come back. I think I'm going to do that now just since I have the stream up. I'll just transition into, into that uh, because then all I have to do after that is share my Q4 writing post and then my game of the year after that. Well, there's two more technically. Um, I was going to do like a gaming in 2021 wrap up post that I've been drafting for a while. I might do that as well, but I might do that after the game of the year countdown because we're getting... We're getting heading into like the middle of January by next week. Um, so I need to get like my game of the year discussion stuff out of the way because we're we're into the new year and it, I want it's it's already not as relevant. Um, most publications, I've said this before, but most like gaming websites and publications, like they do their game of the year deliberations and discussions. I'm sure if you follow any gaming related thing on Twitter, like most of the websites in places like release their lists and their discussions like kind of around the holidays obviously to get it done before the new year because that's how you should, probably should but there are a few publications like easy allies giant bomb still for whatever giant bomb is at this point um they wait till like mid-january uh so i've kind of adopted that for myself just to give me some breathing room in the new year to kind of reflect on the previous year instead of just being like holiday season Things are crazy because it's the holidays. Like, I want to wrap up my thoughts on everything I played during the year, like, in December. Like, it's just, there's too much going on. There's too much going on for me personally at the end of December anyway. Um, so I'm going to take a short break, walk away for a second, come back, and I'm going to read through my Q3 post and then wrap up the stream. Um, so if you want to stick around, I appreciate it. If not, I understand. Uh, but I will be back in a few. Yeah, Jason, I think yeah, you might like this. It's it's not like a Metroid E game, but um it's cute, it's fun, it's short. It's relatively challenging but fair. Uh It's totally my type of game. So like I I knew I was going to like it, but I like I like it way more than I thought. Um But yeah, I will be back in a few. So, let me get up. 
I'll go to the be right back screen and then we'll go from there.